Hey everyone. So I got a really cute care package in the mail from Miss Jenny Post. And I've been dying to show you this stuff. But she sent me lots of goodies, um, some beautiful necklaces that we will be trying out this new snap jewelry. And she sent me some snaps as well. Lots of pretty ones. So what we're going to do today is learn how to use this stuff. So she, I already glued some. I did open the box so that I could get some things glued. And I, she sent me the 18s and the 20s. And inside this little package here are the cabochons so they don't get broken. And then she also sent me the other size. So I wanted to introduce you guys to a different way of making um, skin jewelry that could be profitable for you for craft shows. Let me get all of this out of the box and we will get started. Okay, so she sent me some cufflinks um, for Alan that I will probably find some nice dark skins, um, some black with gold or something and make those for him. She also sent me a pair of earrings that you'll just snap your skin with the cabochon on it. These pretty little gift bags. She sent me a dragonfly pendant. And these are all available in her Etsy shop and I will have a code for you at the end of this video. And a bracelet. This will be very much fun to play with. And a keychain. There's so many things you can do with these snaps. So a really cool keychain that you can put. You can change them out. That's what I like about it. It's interchangeable jewelry. And another necklace. And another necklace. This is the one that I love. So, before you do anything, um, you definitely have to order these snaps. So, she has the 20 and the 18. Um, and these are interchangeable. You can use either with these. So, you don't have to use um, just one size. I'm going to shut my hair off. It's a little hot in here now but just to show you um, how quick and easy it is so you make you make your little button and it has the snap on the back and all you're going to do is take your pendant and you're going to snap that in there let's say okay today I'm wearing red or let's let's do a different one today I'm wearing some fall colors So I can take that out and I can snap a different color in it. These would be so great for craft shows. Because not only can you sell the necklace with one already in it, you can display other snaps that you have for sale. Different colors. See? So this would be your display board at your shows. All right, so I already glued some on, and I used the diamond glaze for the cabochon itself, and I glued them on a bunch of my skins, but I did cut one out because I wanted to show you um, how I take care of that. So I'm going to cut another one 
to show you how I cut it out. Now I'm using little cuticle scissors. Um, embroidery shears would be good for this too so that you can get very close to that edge. I let these dry for a few days so they're they're all dry and not um, coming loose at all. But after you get them cut, and I did find this with other cabochons that I've worked with, I like to go ahead and file that edge off so that you're getting nice and smooth. And you're just hitting the paper is all you're hitting. Because you want that to fit nice and snug inside that bezel. Bezel, bezel, everybody calls it something different. <laughs> so because that was a 20, I'm going to go ahead and take a 20 out and get my E6000 ready. I do love this glue for gluing things into the bezels. So I'm just going to put a little bit in there. I haven't used this in a couple weeks, so it may be a little sticky. All right. So we're going to get some in there. And I'm going to take a skewer and make sure that I'm getting it as close to the edge as I can. Just like that. Okay. Take your cabochon and pop it right in there. Oops, that's the wrong size. <laughs> uh, let's cut one of these out. Sorry about that. I wasn't paying any attention. So we'll do it again. We'll just cut this out. And I'm going to show you how to stick them on to glue them too because you want to hold them snug for a little bit. All right, so we're going to file that edge off nice and smooth. And then we'll pop it right in there. And that's all you have to do. And there's your snap. Let these dry for about a week or so. And while they're drying, just keep them on that board, and that way you know where they're at. Okay, so... I have um, some extra room on this one, so I think I'll do one on there. I like the diamond glaze because it's really clear, and I know it's going to stay clear when I put that cabochon on there. So let's do another 18. So I like to put one drop down. And then I like to move it just in a circle just to get it good. And you will have some that will pop out, so you'll be able to wipe it off. I'm going to glue that right there. And I'm going to hold it down snug. And while I'm holding it, I'm going to take a little piece of paper towel or napkin or whatever. Um, you could use a Q-tip as well. And just wipe that very edge off so it's not quite so goopy and you definitely want to watch it while you're holding it to make sure that all the air is out so those look pretty good but that's all there is to it it's easy um, these make beautiful gifts these are great sellers at craft fairs um, I don't do a lot of craft fairs I did a lot when I was making jewelry so I know what kind what everybody's looking for and if something is interchangeable, they're going to grab this stuff right up. Um, your necklaces, you could sell them for $15 to $20. And these little snap buttons, 5 bucks a piece or more, you can make yourself some good money. And it's not going to cost you a lot to make those. Um, Jenny has these in her Etsy shop. And I will link the Etsy shop below the video, so make sure you look for that. It will be the first link. And because I'm doing this for Jenny, she is um, extending you guys a promo code. And your promo code is POSSE, P-O-S-S-E, -S -S -E, all in caps. 
and you'll get 30% off. She has everything in there. She has uh, the cabochons with the bezels. She has lots of jewelry and keychains and such. And um, if you need any help, just refer back to this video. Remember, we're gluing them on. We're letting them dry. We're cutting them out, and we're gluing them into the bezel, and we're letting those dry as well. So it's a pretty simple process. They're absolutely beautiful. I just love them. So, save your skins. You know I use the photo paper if you're watching my videos. I have tons of this stuff, so I'm going to have fun gluing all of these on. And I just placed an order with Jenny as well for more. So, have fun shopping. I'm glad I could bring this to you guys. Jenny, you rock, girlfriend. Um, I don't even know how to tell you thank you for all of this stuff to play with. But I'm sure... I'm going to have a good time. Let me just pop those in the earrings so we can see what they look like. If I can remember where I put those earrings. <laughs> oh, goodness. Well, anyways, let's let's just say a keychain just so we can see. And you can take a smaller one and put that one in the middle just like she has there. You got yourself a nice unique keychain. And you can show off your art when you're around people. Say, well, look what I made with them. Or you can use them for displays at your shows. So thank you so much for watching, guys. Use the code. Get your 30% off. I don't think she gave me um, a deadline on that. So I'm just checking. <laughs> I will double check with her before I upload this video and I'll place that below as well. So thanks so much for watching. Have fun. Order some today and help a sister out. Um, Jen's been great. She's been my inspiration since I started acrylic pouring. And if, if you haven't, check out her channel as well. I'll put that link below as well. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all on the next one. Bye now.